Okay, you guys, I know you're getting, uh, I know this is getting tough, truthfully, about inverses, controverse, contrapositives, conditionals, uh, converses, biconditionals. It's a lot of writing and a lot of words. So um, hang in there, all right, hang in there. I want to talk about the next section, geometry notes on inverses and contrapositives. And I just want to fill in the logic table, um, the very bottom of your notes, just to kind of review what we're going to learn. This is the very last thing dealing with these P's and Q's. So let's just review our logic table. Okay, first of all, conditional statement looks like this in symbolic form. We read it as if P comma, then Q. Now don't forget, the converse switches the hypothesis and the conclusion. So we literally switch this letter P and this letter Q, and it looks like this, Q arrow P. It just switches orders. So this is read if Q, comma, then P. Now a biconditional says the conditional statement is true, the converse is also true, so we write it with symbols like this, a double arrow, and it's read P if and only if Q. If you want to abbreviate if and only if, you could write it like this, P, if and only if, Q. And that's perfectly fine. Now, a negation is a symbol. This little squiggly symbol is read not P. So when you negate, you're saying it's not something. Inverse takes the original conditional statement, an inverse takes the original conditional statement and negates it. So you take the P and the Q, I'm going to put a little space, and you negate the P and you negate the Q. So this is read, if not P, let me erase that, if not P, comma, then not Q. If not P, then not Q. And lastly, the contrapositive takes this inverse right here, takes this inverse, and it switches the order, just like the converse switched the conditional, the contrapositive switches the inverse. So it looks like this, not Q, implies not P. So I would write if not Q then not P. And it's called the contrapositive. Alright, we're going to use the inverse and the contrapositive and write statements and write sentences. So now let's go to our examples at the very for you, the very top of your notes. And we're going to give you a couple of examples. All right, first of all, we've got to talk about negations. The word negation. Negation means not. All right. I'm going to make a little side note. So here's a side note. If you have the word is as compared to the word is not, then the negation of this is is not, and the negation of this is the word is. So if something is, to negate it, it's not. And if something is not, to negate it, it means that it is. Okay, knowing that, we have to negate this statement. And 
I see right away I have the word is not. So referring to this, in order to negate it, I have to change this word is not to the word is. So my statement's going to be A, B, C, D is a convex polygon. There's my answer, and I'm done. I wrote the negation of that statement. Okay, number two. This is really going to draw it all in. So it says write the inverse and the contrapositive of the conditional statement. Now, I want you to notice this conditional statement. This right here, this hypothesis, this is my P statement. This right here, this is my Q statement. So right now, this is my P implies Q. That's what this statement is. This is P implies Q. If P, then Q. What is the inverse? What I like to do is I like to write the symbols first. Inverse says not P implies not Q. So I have to go, we're referring up here again, the word is is going to turn into is not. So where I see the word is and the word is, I have to change those into the words is not. So here's my statement. Triangle A, B, C is not forgot my word if, I'm sorry, if triangle ABC is not equilateral, comma, then it is not isosceles. I'm done. This is my inverse statement. Now, a contrapositive, contrapositive, says not Q implies not P. So we're going to take this inverse statement that we just wrote and literally switch my hypothesis with my conclusion. So here's my new contrapositive statement. If the word it is referring to triangle ABC. So if triangle ABC is not isosceles, comma, then it referring to triangle ABC, is not equilateral. And I'm done. I have my contrapositive. I wrote both the inverse and the contrapositive of the conditional statement. All right, I want to see if you really understand this. And so, the back of your notes, if you notice, is a blank page. So what I would like for you guys to do to make sure you really understand it is I want you to turn your notes over. And I want you to take this lesson quiz on the back of your notes to see if you understand everything. And we'll check this lesson quiz at the beginning of class tomorrow to see if you actually did it right. So I have four questions. Number one, write the negation of the statement. Number two, write the converse of this statement that says, this one right here, if n is parallel to m, then angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. That's what that says. I want you to write the converse of that conditional statement. 
Then I want you to write the inverse of that conditional statement. And then I want you to write the contrapositive of that same conditional statement. So I wanted to see if you're understanding these words. And we'll check tomorrow at the beginning of class. All right, you guys. Um, good luck. Have fun. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.